Hello everybody, welcome back. We are here with, as the title says, another No Mods uh, entry. This one is a No Mods way of fixing Nick Valentine and improving him in some ways. As you can see, his hand. His hand kind of bothers me. It bothers me. He doesn't bother me, but his hand does. His hand kind of bothers me because it reminds me of a spider. And I, I oh boy, I got, I got some arachnophobia. So that kind of, you know, I don't have a problem with seeing up here, you know, checking out his, his, yeah, sorry, Nick, his neck and all of the wiring and all that stuff. Don't have a problem with that. I understand the reasons that Vanilla did this, but I am here to share with you all how to repair Nick, give him armor, in case some of you didn't know that you could, and also give him a change of clothes so that he's not always wearing this faded attire if you don't want him to. So, first thing, yeah. Uh, what you need to do is you need to rescue Nick and meet him back in Diamond City, go into his office, and Nick will be like, Ellie, Ellie, are you here? And it's like, Nick, oh my God, you're here. And then she says, thank you so much. You know, Nick could use a partner. Just hang on there, Ellie. Uh, so when she says Nick could use a partner, she hands you the faded trench coat, and she gives you a worn fedora. Basically the same stuff that Nick is wearing. And a lot of people put on both outfits, the faded trench coat and the worn fedora. Uh, some people don't. Some people just chuck it in, you know, sell it, chuck it, whatever. doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. But if you use it, then this no mods thing won't work. But if you decide to actually not sell it or scrap it, well, you can't scrap it, store it, you can give it to Nick. And if you check down underneath the center box where his hand is, you can take the faded trench coat, which offers no damage resistance, gives you a plus two to your perception. Uh, you can give it to him and he'll wear it. Now look at his hand. Something for you? His hand is fixed. No mods. That's in the vanilla game. You get the faded trench coat, put it on him, it fixes his hand. So I, I, there's a few reasons why I have issue with his skeletal hand. One is, you know, because it kind of reminds me of a metal spider. Uh, but the other is he'll light a cigarette and it floats in between his skeletal fingers. But if once he has a fixed hand here, it basically, it sits between the skin, his rubberized skin, but sits between the skin of his fingers. Looks normal, I don't have a problem with that. So, that is a no mods way of fixing Nick Valentine, repairing Nick Valentine. Give him the faded trench coat that Ellie gives you after rescuing Nick, give it to him, and it'll fix his hand. Now, I am running a mod. I know I'm saying no mods, but this one mod that I am running is Ballistic Weave Unlocked. Now, all it does is it bypasses you having to have anything to do with the railroad. So if you want to do a playthrough where you never help the railroad, you never follow the Freedom Trail or anything like that, whether you want to play a Wastelander or, you know, with the, with an alternate start mod, like Start Me Up Redux, um, you know, so you start off as a Wastelander. You were never vault-born or anything, vault-born, you were never in the vault, you were never pre-war, you were born 200 years later in, in out, out in the wasteland, whatever. Um, you still have to do the quest, which is go into the vault, you find the body of either the male or the female. Because interestingly, if you 
play the male, when you go into the vault, you find Nate's dead body. And if you play as a female, you go in and you find Nora's dead body. Eh, it's just kind of weird. And on the body is a holotape that has the entire sequence of Kellogg kidnapping the kid and killing your spouse. Quote unquote spouse. Killing the other player. Whatever. So you pick up that holotape, you listen to it, and as soon as you listen to it, it says, report the kidnapping to somebody. And that's where you go to Diamond City and you have to find Nick and all that stuff. So that's how it moves the main story forward without breaking anything. But what you need to do is you do need to go and rescue Nick and get back to his office and Ellie will give you the faded trench coat. Uh, right, and so where I was going with that is if you just want to be somebody who, even if you are from pre-war and you start off in the vault and stuff like that, but you never want to help the railroad, you actually want to go and blow them up, or just never, ever, ever see them for whatever reason, but you'd really kind of like to have ballistic weave because the railroad shouldn't be the only ones that have it. I understand the reason that Bethesda did that. It's like, well, if if the railroad doesn't offer a ballistic weave, then there's no reason to ever join or side or help the railroad. Well, yeah, there's such a minor faction. Yeah, there's really no reason to help them out unless you feel like it. So that's why they gave them ballistic weave. Ballistic weave unlocked. What that does is it bypasses that quest. That's all it does. But if you don't want that mod, can't use that mod, are sticking strictly with a no mods vanilla playthrough, that's fine, that's great. I am impressed by people who can play this game completely vanilla. I can't. I've tried. I, I just, I can't. Mainly because of the building aspects without using mods. Oh my god. But anyway, so with, if, if, if you have no mods, all you have to do is help the railroad enough to get the ballist to unlock ballistic weave with the railroad. So still, this is no mods. As long as you help the railroad in order to unlock the ballistic weave capability, there you go. Me, I use the mod, but vanilla can still do this. Get the faded trench coat. Give it to Nick. It'll fix his hand. No mods. The hey, other thing you can do... something bothering you? Oh, son of a bitch. Nothing else for now. Got it. Okay, let me... Let me run. Apparently I stood in front of him too. I don't fucking know why I have to have a conversation with him. There we go. Take a look. So, let me... Take his... Vanilla trench coat. <clears throat> and as you can see, whoops, there we go. Valentine's trench coat gives plus one to perception, whereas the worn trench coat, the faded trench coat, gives a plus two to perception. I don't know if that actually affects the the companion. I think it does. You know, if, if you add armor to stuff, it affects the companion. If you give them things to wear, I think it improves them too. But I don't know for a fact because I don't read the files. And even if I did, I wouldn't understand a fucking thing it says anyway. But damage resistances. Zero, zero, zero. Go over here. Well, try not to sever anything you might miss. <laughs> That's an interesting comment, Nick. Try not to Try not to sever anything you might miss. Thanks, Nick. Now, you can weave. You can add ballistic weave to Nick's outfit. Now, I am not running AWKCR. I am not running Armorsmith Extended or any of those mods. I am just running ballistic weave unlocked. Because AWKCR or I think CKR, it's, I don't know, I say Auker. And Armorsmith Extended Apparently, they have been linked a lot lately 
to causing bloat files in your games, which can cause save errors, uh, crash to desktop when you're loading a save, whether it's a hard save or an auto save on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, anything. And it just, it, it, uh, it's just, so I don't use them anymore. And I haven't had any issues with my games crashing. So I don't use AWKCR, AWCKR, so has AWCKKCR, and Armor Smith Extended. Don't use that. And to prove that, um, let me go back in here. Valentine's coat, wedding ring, worn fedora. Silver Shroud hat, Silver Shroud costume. Now, no Silver Shroud, no worn fedora, none of those hats. Because you can't weave those without AW, KCR, CKR, or Armor Smith Extended, or mods like that. So I'm not running those mods. But you can add weave to Nick's trench coat, his vanilla clothing. You can add some armor to it. The higher your armorer skill, the higher the maximum it can go to is 110 in both, which is great because otherwise you can't give him any armor. You can't, you, which is, it's dumb. You can't give him armor. You can't give him anything to wear. That was the wrong button. That's the button. Um, do a baseball, bowler hat, and a right arm armor. That's up. One. Okay. Need. Here we go. So there's the baseball uniform. You can probably hear me clicking. You can't. He won't wear it. He can't wear it. Bowler hat. Can't wear it. I haven't tried glasses. I'm curious. Yeah, he can't even wear glasses. And, oh yeah, um, ba -ba -ba. braced shadowed armor. He can't wear it. So you can't give him a different change of clothes. You can't give him a different hat or hairstyle or anything. And you can't give him any armor to protect himself with. Which is fucked, in my opinion. Because Nick is a really great character. He's like the best vanilla character, the best vanilla companion in the game. Heather Kasdan, she's the best modded uh, companion in the game, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, so you go over here, cruise down here. You can add Ballistic Weave to Nick's trench coat and give him some armor defense. Finally, keep him from getting knocked on his ass. I'm not going to because I don't like seeing his skeletal hand. So we'll just head back over here. Heads up. Now I'll see what I can do. If I got it. But for now, go over here. Give him his jacket back for now. Grab the faded trench coat. Ugh, spider hand. Go over here. Faded trench coat. I can add ballistic weave to it. Now, I'm not maxed out yet, and I'm not going to go and type in the console commands to do that, because eh, I don't feel like it, I'm playing the game. But, right now, 65 physical uh, resistance, 65 energy resistance. And you take that, you head back over to him. Look alive. I'm listening. Here's what I've got. Now, we've just added Ballistic Weave to this, okay? And, boom! He can wear it. And, again, it fixes his hand. Come on, keep turning. There we go, get you in the light. It fixes his hand. So, you can give him, sort of, a different outfit to wear. It looks the same as his vanilla one, which you can add Ballistic Weave to to give him some armor. Or, you can, with no mods, repair Nick, Val repair Nick Valentine. Now, granted, you can't fix his face or his neck or anything like that. That's fine. 
but you can at least give him two regular hands. And I think that's awesome. Because a lot of people are like, yeah, Nick's great, but man, that hand is bugging me. So here is a no mods way of repairing his hand. Now, that was the wrong button. That's the button. Now, for the next piece, this one, it's not really a mod. It is Creation Club. So that's more like DLC. And if you time it well or you just wait, you can get it for free or for really cheap. So, you know, whatever. But this, you can give Nick a different outfit. How? Well, what you do is you face away from the camera because I changed my mind of what I was going to do, which was this, and you get the Creation Club content called Noir Penthouse. And what that does is that, I've already done the quest, that starts early retirement. And you get a strange signal to listen to on your radio, which Yeah, as soon as you finish the, the quest, it just deletes the, uh, the radio signal. But all it does is it has Morse code. And there we go. There we go. So you listen to the strange signal. It gives you the coordinates to go to, which the coordinates send you, spoilers, uh, sends you to, oh, there we go sends you to the campus law offices. There's a terminal there that then sends you down here to Fairline Hill Estates, where you'll find the body of the courser. And once you loot him, then you get uh, an outfit and you get this gun, which does 25% more damage against synths, which is kind of nice. And you get this outfit, which reduces damage from robots by 15%. But he's a courser. Why don't you get 15? Why don't you get damage reduction against synths? You're going up against synths, not robots. Why don't you get defense against synths? Weird. And you get the detective coat, and you get the detective fedora, which is, you know, nice shade of brown. I like it. Um, just pop those on real quick. And they look really cool. I like them. Or, you can go over here. You can take the detective coat. You can add ballistic weave to it. Which, oh yes, without weave, it automatically gives you 14 physical defense and 27 energy defense and you bump it up with this and you get 79 and 92 <laughs> and I think armored detective coat okay it doesn't give you any bonuses to perception but it does give you defenses and now you also have a lot of defense now what's the point of that well the point of that is you can, you can tell right now. Armored detective coat. Boom. And still his hand is fixed. His hand is fixed. He has actually a nice set of clothing. It looks so much better than the faded beige that he wears. A nice violet tie, a nice teal, kind of teal, shirt, nice trench coat, nice dark brown pants. I mean, this looks really good. Yes, it's basically the same, but it is different because it's more colorful. 
and it fixes his hand. Now, again, looking for something. Uh, do, 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 Detective Fedora, he can't wear it. Don't know why, he just can't wear it. But that detective outfit just looks so much better than the faded trench coat thing that he's got. It's just, that's a lot of beige and gray. It's kind of a bummer. Nick deserves some nice clothes. Hey. Go ahead. And a repaired hand. Take a look. So, without mods, you do need to get the Creation Club Noir Apartment, Noir Penthouse, Noir Penthouse. But you can put them in it. And that is freaking cool. You can give him new weapons, which is nice. You know, you can give him improved weapons, which is so much better than that stupid pipe revolver that he has. And I always give him, actually I give him and any of the companions I have, a suppressed weapon because good God, do they love to make bang-bang noises. And which gives away your stealth if you're playing a stealthy character. So, yeah, I give them suppressors when I can. And if you give them a 10 millimeter, you can give them a suppressor when you reach Gun Nut 2, which is earlier than almost any suppressed uh, mod that you can give to any weapon. So that's kind of nice. Um, so, yeah, I'll take the faded trench coat just because he doesn't need to be carrying that. I'll leave his vanilla outfit on him. It's only two, two carry weight. Just, you know, I don't want to glitch the game by having it stored in, in, in fucking anything. And I don't want to lose it just in case. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah. I, oh. I forgot. She's not wearing any clothes. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Yeah, I'll take her hat off. Ooh, that's something I wanted to check. Just because hey, I something you need? really wish Think I could do this. I, I can do it with Auker and Armor Smith Extended, but yeah, see, it's not even showing up. Actually, I think it's not showing up because I haven't done the Silver Shroud quest yet. So that might be in a follow-up video. Um, but I don't think I can give him um, the Silver Shroud costume either. Which kind of sucks because he would look cool in that. So, yeah. You know, and, and I've got the Silver Shroud, the Shroud Manor. I got Shroud Manor. I have the Shroud Manor uh, Creation Club because that is one of the requirements to having the um, workshop mod, Shadows and Rainbows Workshop. I need uh, Shroud Manor. Noir penthouse. One other penthouse that is in Good Neighbor that sounds like noir but isn't noir, and I can't remember what it is. It's like speakeasy or I can't remember. But anyway, it's it's the it's the player home that is in Good Neighbor, uh, and you also need mid-century furniture and the Nuke Cola. Art Deco, yeah, the Art Deco is, well, Art Deco is from the Noir penthouse, yeah. It's some, it's some nice looking furniture. It's nice looking, I like it. Um, and, yeah, Modern Furniture is another one you need. And the Nuka Cola, the Nuka Cola Cafe uh, mod you need as well, um, in order to have Shadows and Rainbows Workshop. So I did get those in order to have this mod, which is a fantastic mod that I talk about in other videos. So yeah, 
if you want to give Nick a colorful, more fashionable change of clothes, you need to get the Noir Penthouse, but it works and it fixes his hand as well. So no mods, just Creation Club, which is basically like a DLC quest to get a cool outfit that you can give to Nick and you can armor Nick in the only way possible with Ballistic Weave on all of these items. So I think that's awesome. Now again, this is no mods. Many of you probably know this. Some of you might not. Some of you may be new to picking up Fallout 4. It's possible. Uh, some of you may just not have known that you can add Ballistic Weave to Nick's vanilla outfit. Valentine's detective coat, tr Valentine's trench coat. You might not have known. I honestly didn't know that I could add ballistic weave to Valentine's trench coat because I used to play using AWKCR, AWCKR. Anyway, and Armor Smith extended, so I would give him other stuff because I wanted to give him better looking clothes. But now that I'm not using those mods and I'm just using. Ballistic Weave Unlocked, which, as I explained earlier, is just, if you don't feel like, and, and she may or may not do the, the railroad, she probably will, but she hasn't done it yet, and I want the armor for her clothing, so I got Ballistic Weave Unlocked. It's not a quest, it doesn't break anything, it just bypasses the railroad. That's all. Um, but... If you are playing completely vanilla, if you go and you help the railroad to get the unlocked ballistic weave, you can do all of this. So it is still no mods repairing Nick's hand and giving him better clothing and giving him armor so he doesn't get knocked on his ass every five minutes. So I thank you all for joining me. I think that's it. Let me see. Yeah, I, as I was saying, I'm sure many of you already know this stuff, but maybe some of you don't. Um, but I hope you found it interesting. I hope you found it entertaining. Um, and remember, uh, if you did enjoy what you saw here, I have a lot of other uh, videos that are all dealing in Fallout, mostly Fallout 4, mostly build mods, but I do have videos uh, showing off some of the funny glitches called um, uh, Journal of the Weird and I also have one called uh, Gorilla Shorts which is basically short videos in which I'm holding my camera in one hand and my controller in the other while I'm recording um, and uh, I've got uh, some episodes regarding the architecture of Fallout mostly in Fallout 4, but sometimes in other Fallout 3 in New Vegas. Uh, just things that I find fascinating, things that I find interesting, things that I find... If there's a glitch, that usually goes in the Journal of the Weird or the Gorilla episodes. Um, but if there's architecture I find fascinating or interesting or just, wow, the developers d did this, that's cool. Uh, that's in its own little playlist. So if you like my ADD ramblings, please hit the like button, comment. I love reading the comments and I reply to all of them. And consider subscribing. I would love it if you subscribe. Um, means a lot to me. Uh, and yeah, remember, be excellent to each other and to yourself and party on. Keep your stick on the ice. Bye.